Sunday afternoon, I decided to visit Dauphin. It's called the Oil Painting Village. It's really just a neighborhood of Greater Shenzhen. Uh, according to TripAdvisor, it's just a short walk from the metro station to the village. I took the bus in the pouring rain and made it there in no time. The first thing you see when entering Dauphin is this covered walkway lined with shops. There are art supply stores, galleries, and loads of paintings. I was drawn to this gallery by the portrait of Jack Ma you can see in the background. The gallerist is asleep, so I kept quiet to check out the paintings close up. Here's Jack on a Hokusai style background. He's the founder of Alibaba. Beneath the frame paintings are these stacks of canvases. Painting after painting, each one a copy of some unnamed original. There are paintings on the floor, paintings on the walls, still lifes, celebrity portraits, and giant military scenes. In one gallery I found tons of paintings rolled up like this. This place is very strange. There are artists in every direction. This guy does horses. The streets are filled with little studios like this. Each one a single painter. Between the studios, artists work in these little alley studio ways. Galleries and studios, every style of painting. Modern, classical, pop art, kids art. Here's a plaza with many artists. Look how many stalls. Kids playing here too. It is like a little village. Many sleeping artists. Framing shops. Lots of frames. Traditional art. Minions Lisa. Food sellers. Beautiful contrast. Some artists work from pictures. Many others work from iPads or phones. Here's an artist setting up a new canvas. I lingered in one alleyway watching this artist and his daughter. And this artist in a neighboring studio working on a bunch at the same time. The painter in the studio opposite invited me to join her for tea. Her name is Jung Ching Yi and she's been painting for 15 years. She told me she's teaching herself English and loves English pop music, like Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston. After a few rounds of milk tea, she told me it was time to get back to work. Here we see her doing the initial strokes for a painting based on the picture on the left. She told me she was born in Huizhou, a city about an hour or two north. She paints for about five hours a day and told me that it's very hard on the back and shoulders. She mixes paint on this board beneath her canvas. Here's the painting a few minutes later, and a few minutes after that. While I sat there, I got to observe her dealing with a patron. They compared photos between what he had on his phone and what she had on her iPad. He wanted something with waterfalls, but didn't quite like what she had on the wall or on her iPad. On my way back to the metro, I noticed even the dogs are covered in paint. And that was my afternoon in Dauphin.